Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Senate County Commissioner meeting. It's our regular board session, uh, December 27th, 2022, Commissioner Kirshner's uh, final meeting, and uh, we'll open the meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. So I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So, we'll custom, we uh, have a prayer after the pledge. I want to say a couple comments, and then uh, Commissioner Kirshner will go to you since uh, uh, this has been your duty. But, dear God, we just want to thank you for uh, bringing Commissioner Kirshner uh, to serve uh, the citizens of this community and county. Uh, He's done a great job. He's always kept the people first. We're a better place today than we were uh, before he came in. And we ask that you guide over him and his family as they move into retirement uh, into the future. Amen. Very nice Amen. to you, sir. Thank you. That's Any good. That's, that's a good prayer. We'll, we'll talk. Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, roll call. Commissioner, Commissioner Kirshner? I am here. Commissioner Paradiso? Here. And we have uh, Commissioner Schuff online. He will not be voting, but he's here to listen in. So he is not with us today, but Good. he's listening in. Can you hear us, Commissioner Schuff? A little sound check just to make sure. Let's see. Hold on here for a sec. Try again there, Commissioner. I can hear you loud and clear on my end. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So at this time, I'll accept a motion to approve the digital audio recording uh, minutes of our previous board session from Thursday, December 13th, 2022, a regular board uh, meeting. So moved. Now second that, roll call. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Kirshner? Yes. Commissioner Paradiso? Yes. Okay, so we have uh, Judge Schuff uh, here today. Thank you, Judge, for coming over. He asked to say a few words, and uh, you now have the floor. Well, first of all, <clears throat> I have a request for an addition to the Justice Center of about <clears throat> 5,000 square feet. I move, I move, no. I'll try to do one last, one last uh. and, and if that happens, we perhaps put a statue of Mr. Kirshner up on the, yeah. on the courthouse lawn. Well, the Bruce need something. Well, that's all the motion. Yeah. The statue of you? I know you're, um, you're going to uh, commend Judge Kelbley for his years of service in the county as common police court judge for 34 years and I'd like to echo on that I've worked with him for 24 years uh, we had a great professional relationship I think Judge Kelbley always looked at what was the best interest of not only the justice system in Seneca County but also the best interests of the citizens of Seneca County and uh, as a result, uh, I think uh, all the projects that took place were a collaborative that included all the judges as well as the commissioners and others. So I want to thank you for recognizing Judge Kelbley for his 34 years. And that goes without saying that since we're losing another public official, and Mr. Mike Kirshner, <coughs> I'd say a few words about him because I've known him since 1980 when he gave me my first car loan. And he shouldn't have. <laughs> right out of college, right out of law school. I was by law school. I was broke as broke could be, yeah. and he gave me a car loan. And and I think that sums up a little bit of Mike Kirshner. He can evaluate people, and their character and their willingness. And he gave a lot of loans to people that maybe he shouldn't have, but made our community better as a banker and a businessman. And I know him as a businessman because we were business partners for 26 years together, and so I know his integrity. And uh, I really appreciate that time together, but more important, because he is a county commissioner, I appreciate the eight years that you've been a county commissioner. Your business sense, your common sense, uh, and your ability to not complain and not blame anyone is <coughs> outstanding. And I think that, that's character of a leader. And uh, you have been super for this county. You've been involved in so much with the Pivot Drug Court, with the Justice Center, 
with so many other things, including Lady Justice, when we went down to Florida to look at Lady Justice and make sure she looked good before we put her up on top of the building. So I want to thank you for all your eight years of hard work. Uh, you will be missed. Thank you. Thank you. Very kind. Well, you know you're in trouble in the banking business when a guy shakes your hand and says, I don't know how I'll ever repay you. <laughs> I don't know if I repaid you, but I thank you. <laughs> thank you. Very thank, nice. Very thank nice. you for coming thank over. You. Thank uh, you. Great words. Thank you. You're welcome, Stan, but I, I know you're busy, right? Thank so, you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good day, everyone. See you, Judge. Thanks, Judge, for everything. You sure you don't want to make a motion to put a statue up there? No, I would have one to Steve, maybe. Or no. <laughs> Judge Galway deserves a, gee, he's 34 years for okay. crying out loud. Yeah. All right, so we'll, we'll jump in. Next, we have on the agenda uh, Julie. We met here on the 13th. I see Kelly's here. Uh, we had several issues that we talked about with you here, our county auditor, and uh, we asked for more information, and so you're back. So thank you. You, you, you want to just speak from there? Would you like to yep, come up? If that's all right. I'm um, okay. Thank, Jimmy, thank you. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Sound wise, okay. Just, just speak loudly. Okay, thank you. Got it. Thank you for inviting me back. I was hopeful that I would have additional information from for the board from fellow auditors. However, um, there's a glitch with my email. Some of my emails are getting blocked, and I have to push with IT to get those released. I'm not sure what happened there. But, um, and so I haven't gotten the responses that I thought might be beneficial to the group, so. Um, so I, what we're looking for, I believe, is um, <coughs> what other counties are doing as far as uh, how they're handling um, the uh, money flow as it pertains to dog tags, right? So we. We went ahead, we settled the, um, based on the Ohio Revised Code, Kelly, so 15% of the projected revenue will go to your office, the rest of the revenue will go to you, right? So you now have a raise going into next year, into your budget, and the question now is, uh, uh, do we backfill that to your budget out of the general fund, or how does, what are, and so our question is, what are other counties doing? And, and and anyhow, it, it, it's custom on these kind of decisions. We have three commissioners here to talk, so Bill, this will be on your agenda next year. Uh, we won't wait, we'll get it on right away, so we, we'd like you to get back to us, if that's okay. Do you want to add anything? Anybody? No, we're good. good. We're good? Okay, thanks for coming. Kelly, you want to add anything? All right, we'll just uh, we'll move on. We'll jump into uh, commissioner reports. Uh, you're up. Well, the first thing I'll say is there's one person in this room who's been to more meetings than I have. Uh, this guy sitting back there in the red shirt, Tom Brighton, all the time. I appreciate uh, all the conversations we've had. I appreciate you being here most every week. God bless you, man. I know you'll continue to come. Awesome. I've learned a lot by coming to these meetings. I've seen so much and how things have changed in the last number of years. And you made a lot of changes. You helped this unit tremendously. I well, that's, again, very kind of you so to say, much. but, uh, you know, when citizens show up and participate, that's really important. So, <clears throat> you know, Jimmy, I've got to give kudos to him as it relates to that because, you know, we used to have this many or fewer at most meetings, and now we have a, you know, the new, the new system in which people can electronically watch, and uh, that's something that didn't happen before. So. Uh, it's good stuff. Uh, I was able to meet with uh, with uh, Rick Gillette, thank him for his service as it related to the Joint Ambulance District uh, during this little time here. We haven't met in, what is today, 27, so we haven't met in two weeks, right? <coughs> uh, I, I had a lot of laughs over the, over the last few weeks. Board of Revision last, <laughs> Budget Commission last, TSEP last uh, meeting. Uh, but again, it reminds me how important all the volunteers are and all the people that give them their time and talent, and many times treasure to do these things. We talked about um, this room wasn't always as calm as it is today. You know, we had the, uh, uh, the wind group in for a good period of time for probably, you know, more than six months. But uh, 
I think we got that resolved to most of the, the folks of satisfaction we had. Uh, the Historical Society people went here in the beginning as it related to the courthouse. Hopefully we got that uh, satisfied uh, to, in the best interest of what's going on. But I think that the main thing, you know, you think about when you reflect as you're, as you're leaving some situation is that, uh, and, and Judge Shuff is a good example of this, that, uh, you know, he started or helped. It was the main force behind Noah, no, no one alone or hungry over the holidays. And if we just do one thing a day, and we know this is an old uh, verbiage, an old saying, but I think it holds true and, and I try to live by this. We just do one thing a day to help somebody's life a little better or to do something that improves the situation just a bit. And if everybody does that, you know, once a day, it turns out to be pretty good stuff at the end of the day. All those things added together make us a, a much better people. So. I appreciate the opportunity to have, to have been able to serve. Uh, I ask each of you to try to, you know, do something great or something minor that is uh, helpful to somebody every day, a little kindness. Uh, and if we all do that and move forward, we'll be great. So that's uh, that's my little ending statement, I guess. Uh, How do you follow something? Like yeah, that? <laughs> uh, yeah. Thanks for all the support. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. So your son's here, one of your three. Yes. Uh, you want to add anything to that, those comments of your dad? Well, maybe I think maybe. about this, but I would, I would say I did a, um, every day I try to do a gratitude list. And I didn't even know I was going to come here today, but I called dad for lunch. He said he couldn't make it, uh, and it reminded me that it was last meeting. So as part of the gratitude list, you know, I, I thank the Lord for him and the example that he set because, uh, you know, I think a lot of times if you have great parents, if you have great role models, uh, that sets you off on a much better foot in life. And to have that as a role model and someone to aspire to be is a powerful thing. So as much as he's done for the county, uh, I think Chef, you mentioned it, he's done things for the business community, for his friends, and he's been a great family leader. So from a, a personal perspective, uh, having a guy like that to look up to is, is a pretty powerful thing. So thanks for your service, Dad, to the county, and thanks for being a great dad. Thank you. Pretty proud of that. Thank you. Thanks, Carl. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Schuff, any comments from you? Yeah, um, I wish I could be there in person here to be there for Mike's last meeting, but um, I mean, it's just been a real privilege working with Commissioner Kirshner. Um, one thing I've always respected about him, he's always been very fair. He'll, uh, he'll look at a problem, he'll listen to the different sides, and then he'll uh, make a decision by backing it up with the facts. I've always kind of appreciated that about Mike. Um, also, I mean, Mike's just, he's a, he's a man of faith, family, community. I think those are all very good, positive, and uh, uh, respectable traits. Now, honestly, I wish uh, I wish I had more time to learn off of Mike. I mean, he brings a lot of experience to the table, not just from the private sector and uh, what he's done in his personal career and achievements. But I mean, just even as, as eight years as commissioner, I wish I had more time to uh, learn from him. And I know in the future I'll be calling him and reaching out to him to uh, fill in some of the gaps of stuff that I maybe have missed in the past, or just to uh, get his advice. Um, it's, it's, it's nice having a banker on the commission as well. Cause I mean, you, you got good business sense. Um, you're really good with the finances and you, you, you look at things in a very different way, but I've always appreciated that about you as well. Um, I think one of the biggest things I've learned from Mike is he, he, said, he said this quote numerous times. And even before I got on the commissioner's office, he would say, uh, when people were less worried about uh, who gets credit for stuff, there's no limit to what you can get done. Uh, that kind of helped me grow as a person because when I was younger on city council in my 20s, I mean, you want to make a name for yourself and all that, but I just, I like the collaboration we have between the three of us and we're able to cover for each other and nobody's worried about credit or anything like that. We just want to get things done and keep our community positive. So that's one thing I've taken from Mike. Uh, like I said, I'll be calling you here in the future here for advice and your past experiences and I'm going to miss you a lot. I wish you the best of luck in the future in your retirement. And I'm going to miss your humor, your jokes, and your stories. But uh, hopefully we can stay in touch, Mike. Really appreciate you. 
Very nice time. Well, thank you. Thank you for the work. Thank you. I uh, have a few comments. Um, I want to uh, uh, thank uh, the sheriff and our EMS personnel. Been, it was a crazy weekend. As everyone knows, we were closed Friday here. Uh, level three, uh, Julie, you had problems in the uh, RTA building. Um, the roads were crazy. Bill, I know you were out. You had to bring the snow plow back in, right? It was that bad. And uh, But we survived the weekend, and uh, it's one thing to be on call through Christmas and that kind of thing, but to, to battle these elements is, is, is just really appreciated. Uh, good communication throughout the county, and um, so I want to thank everyone for cooperating. Uh, we do have a couple uh, uh, electeds that will be swearing in today. Uh, Judge-elect Damon Alt at 3 o'clock. Commissioner-elect Bill Frankert sitting here at 3.30. Uh, congratulations, and uh, it will we'll be over for the, for the great moment. Um, appreciate that. Um, also, we, uh, in our... Um, under new business, we will be taking action on a couple items I just wanted to mention as we kind of go through and vote on it. Uh, we've talked about this at length, but we will be uh, taking action for, under the expedited process, accepting a petition um, uh, and granting the annexation to the city of Fostoria of some land in Jackson Township. Uh, this is a kudos to all the entities and to the prosecutor's office. We had, there was an error, it was all been corrected, and uh, we're going to finalize that today. Um, we appreciate that. Um, we also will be entering into a, an agreement with the newly formed Joint EMS District. Um, attended their meeting, Julie was there, prosecutor was there, Dean Henry was there. It was a great meeting. A lot of, uh, a lot of work to do, right, Julie? And, and hats off to Scott Harrison, the president. He's just relentlessly working. Um, but they signed their half of the agreement. It's all been approved by Derek and everybody. So we will vote on that today. And so we can go into the first of the year with, with an arrangement to uh, conduct EMS in the county. Um, we have that on the agenda. Uh, the, and I think business-wise, welcome back, Jamie, Barb's tied up with weather and uh yep she'll be back i believe thursday you're home yeah. with uh, pipe frozen pipes and no heat and you know just yep. it was an eventful nice holiday weekend for me so i have a disaster at my house <laughs> <laughs> but we're all here wow. okay yeah. so that's uh that's all i have uh commissioner uh, administrative report all right um i do not have much because i'm going to save all my stuff for new business uh, but i do want to thank mike it has been a pleasure working uh, for you and with you. I enjoy every single story. I'm going to miss all of them. Uh, so you'll have to step in and, and make sure you can keep us up on all those. Um, and most of them are true, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have yet to find one that isn't. Uh, um, it's always just so nice to hear you talk about your family and um, you putting them first. And I, I know that you know you talk so highly of all the kids and the grandkids and just excited that you are having all that extra time to spend with them. Uh, and surely that, that family is most important and I love hearing you say that day in and day out and I just awesome. appreciate um, everything that you've done. So thank you. Thank That's you. very nice of you. Thank you. Okay, uh, old business. I don't think we have any, right? New business? Yeah. Uh, so we jump right in. We have a lot, yes. We are also uh, waiting for uh, Don Fitch and Judge Calvary to show up. We're going to have a proclamation and recognize them as they retire. Uh, so um, we should be right on time. Yep, we'll get through this and, and go from there. Yeah. Um, so we have some supplemental appropriations. Um, we did a reduction to the uh, capital projects 1215 in the amount of uh, $32,000. This was just reducing the line. Um, for the or reducing the line for funds uh, to be in line for the end of the year, um, ditch maintenance fund 2017 uh, moving to contract. Uh, excuse me, ditch maintenance fund 2017 uh, contract projects for forty three thousand uh, six hundred and seven dollars. 
We have an, another reduction for soil and water funds 2042 to salaries in the amount of $43,470.55. Uh, we have the uh, VOCA um, 2112, the HSA contribution cash balance um, request for $187.50. Um, the step 1208 salaries for $335.19. Um, we have the Seneca County Employee Health Fund 1099 per the amount of 5907. Um, the budget stabilization uh, fund 1900 transferring $725,000 into that uh, general fund for advertising and expenses in the amount of $338.21. We also then have the American Rescue Plan Fund of 2021, that's the 1018, uh, for PERS for $2,793.55, and salaries, uh, 3,000, or excuse me, $362,064, uh, $64.68, sorry, my numbers are off today here. We then also have an appropriation adjustment, the American Rescue Plan Fund of 2021, the 1018 hospitalization to salaries in the amount of $58,615.50, uh, supplies to salaries for $45,500.72. Let me have you take a breath here. So the, the general, the American Rescue Plan 2021, the salaries of 362, that goes back into the general fund. Mm -hmm. Be, to be appropriated as the commissioners feel. Correct. Uh, yep. And the same thing happened to the 2021 uh, 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 supplies to salaries. Yes. 45,000. That's correct. Okay. Right. That's, and the seven. <clears throat> go ahead. And the yeah. 725. Yeah. That bring it gets in. us to about two million dollars. It we does. Have, Just shy. Yeah. So we have a cap 25. of five percent or whatever the mm -hmm. number is. We so we do good. have time, so I'd like you to. Uh, uh, how did this budget stabilization fund come about? And, well, it, it, and well, what, what just, is the purpose of it? And yeah. we got to feel pretty good that we have just shy of two million dollars in there. Yeah, Go ahead. Shy yeah. too. Well, I mean, basically, it was cooperative effort. Uh, we we introduced it uh, four or five or six years ago. Uh, but the fact is, as I like to say, we're doing the opposite of the federal government. Instead of st spending our grandbabies' money, we're putting it in a savings account. So that sometime in the future, when the economy turns the wrong way, uh, there will be some money there to take care of things. You know, when I first came the first year, I think uh, we were actually closed on Fridays. Julie, I, we were working four-day weeks for a while there, um, hmm. and we had a period of time when COVID. Was that a money well, reason, a funding thing? Yeah, it was Before, funding. Uh, we yeah, had, time and uh, no, we were taking a, a number of uh, people and. Uh, even some of the electives took a 20% cut in salary. Tony, I know you did. And During we the, did. yeah. So, I mean, there are, um, you know, there are those situations that occur that uh, we don't know about now. But anyways, so that, that money is there, restricted um, only to be used when uh, cash flow isn't sufficient to cover, uh, cover our expenses. Pretty awesome. Well, thank you for you and prior commissioners for establishing that fund and then for your constantly bringing that up as we go through the budgets every year. You know, that's a line item that just isn't, well, whatever's left. I mean, we kind of talk about that. We want to, we consciously, you know, Well, one thing for sure, one thing for sure in government, and I'm sure the bill, you'll find this out too, and I know, you know, we already know it, but if there's some money out there in a pot, somebody's going to figure out a way to spend it or uh, I make a request for it, or why can't you do that, or why can't you give us raises, you got this money, whatever the case is. But if you can put it in a restricted fund simply for that, you can't touch it, so that's good. Awesome, so we'll be 25,000 short of two million bucks. <coughs> okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Up. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, we'll jump into the resolutions. There's a question. Question, yeah, Julie. Excuse me, um, Jamie, could you repeat um, the third item um, for fund 2042 salaries for employees? Yes, um, they did a reduction um, to be in line, I believe, with the end of the year as well. Okay. Thank um, you. And I'm going to double check to make sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they called this morning to say that was a reduction line. So. Thank you. 
it just it doesn't show as a reduction on the agenda. It does not. Uh, yes, I had caught that radical. this morning, so I highlighted mine to make sure I read that as a reduction. Cool. But yeah, I caught it last minute for that, so they had called in to make sure they seen that as well. But so I wanted to make sure. We get we printed it red if it's a reduction, but it doesn't say reduction. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, we'll probably so. need to so. work on that for the agenda. Hey, okay. uh, engineer. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. I'll keep so, going with these. Yes. You no, guys are welcome. Come on in. We're just going through some new business and then uh, we'll uh, There's quite a few. Have it over to you guys. Go ahead. Back to, back to you, Jamie. Okay. I have a resolution um, authorizing the Seneca County Board of Commissioners to renew Fairfield Computer Services LLC online dog license program agreement on behalf of the Seneca County Auditor and Dog Board. A, sorry. <laughs> a resolution authorizing the agreement with Seneca County General Health District for 2023 medical and health care services on behalf of the Seneca County Youth Center effective January 1st, 2023. A resolution authorizing a contract service agreement with Crawford County Board of Commissioners for the receipt, custody, and care of Crawford County juveniles on behalf of the Seneca County Youth Center for 2023. A resolution authorizing an agreement with Resource Solutions Association Associates uh, on behalf of the Seneca County Emergency Management Agency. We have a resolution amending the resolution uh, certifying unpaid assessments to the county auditor for collection of Ohio Revised Code Section uh, 6117.02, uh, which is approved September of 2022. This is all the sewer. Um, all those year end corrections. Bonds. <clears throat> We have a resolution authorizing fund transfers be made to the Budget Stabilization Fund 1900. A resolution to approve the American Rescue Plan Act fund requests allowable under federal guidelines. We have a resolution authorizing the execution of an amendment to agreement of sublease with respect to community-based correctional facility. We have the resolution accepting the petition and granting the annexation to the city of Fostoria for parcels of land in section 30 of Jackson Township in Seneca County. <clears throat> have a resolution authorizing the regulatory compliance amendment to the master services agreement with Paytel Communications on behalf of the Seneca County Sheriff. A resolution approving an amendment to contract with I am responding for emergency services effective January 1st, 2023. Have a resolution entering into emergency medical services agreement with the Seneca County Joint Ambulance District. Resolution authorizing an agreement with Stantec Consulting Services for General Services Agreement effective October 2022 through September 30th, 2023 on behalf of the Seneca County Airport. We have a resolution um, amending an amendment for the contract between the City of Tiffin and Seneca County Prosecutor's Office. And we have a resolution rescinding the board's orders of the December 13th um, annual appropriations for the non-general fund 2023 um, fund. There was just another line item that needed a correction. So uh, thanks to the auditor's office, they were just double checking and putting everything in. They caught that and we were able to get that on today. So we thank them for catching that. Um, so that's just... And I believe that is all. Okay, so I I'll, I'll make a motion. We accept the uh, new business as presented. Second. 
Okay, a little discussion. So Mark Zimmerman's here, Julie. Uh, the annexation uh, they've resubmitted today for expedited annexation in Fossoria okay. with Jackson Township. Uh, I don't know how you guys did it, but thank you with splitting the parcel and all the work you guys did. Then it's, it's unbelievable because uh, uh, Hopewell Township, ourselves, City of Fostoria, Jackson Township, everybody had special meetings and got this all done. And then they've resubmitted. They resubmitted on Thursday. And we were closed Friday and Monday, so yeah. they made it. And we're excited to. Uh, well, that's what she has to do, right? Get it done by the end do. of the year? Yeah, it does. It's the last yeah. second, but we got it done by the end of the year. So, <laughs> yeah. in the spirit of yeah. Commissioner Kirscher's last day, yeah. and we're recognizing Judge Kelby and Dawn, but yeah. every once, this is what we do, yeah. right? We just try to get it done and figure out ways not to jack people around, but to make life <laughs> easy for people. So, you guys were a big part of that one. That was, that, I learned a lot too going through that process. It was good. So we have a first and second yep. uh, discussion. Any comments from you, Commissioner? No. Roll call. Okay. Commissioner Kirshner? Yes. Commissioner Paradiso? Yes. Okay, good. Would you like to introduce Don? I'd like you to come up uh, and, and do sure. that. That would be awesome. <laughs> so, do you want to come up here? Sure. So, this is Absolutely. uh, uh, Don, your old office. So, by the way. Dawn is not too happy with me today uh, because she is not somebody that stands in the forefront, but instead has spent the last 32 years in the background doing the great work of Seneca County. Uh, so, we thought it was important to honor you and the service you provided to Seneca County over the past 32 years and ask the commissioners to provide a proclamation. In honor of you. So we do have a proclamation, and I'll uh, come over here and read it. Commissioner Shuff, I'm taking your job today. First of all, thank you for all those years of thank you. service. Oh, yes. I know Dawn has one of those jobs behind the scenes that nobody really realizes what she does, but she just makes a lot of uh, things happen and saves a lot of heartburn for a lot of people, right? Yeah, I don't know how you're going to replace her. I know you've been working on it. Yep. Okay. So we do have a proclamation. We'd like to Thank recognize you. your years of service. Thanking Dawn for 32 years of service to the county. Whereas the Seneca County Board of Commissioners is honored to recognize and celebrate this distinguished career of public service of Dawn Fitch of the County Engineer's Tax Map Department. And whereas Fitch has worked for the Tax Map Office for 32 years tirelessly ensuring that legal descriptions land surveys have compiled with state and local standards. And whereas, Fitch has made us all proud by being a good steward of the public trust. And whereas, those who have worked closely with Fitch note that she has always been willing to go the extra mile to help answer landowner questions. Whereas, Fitch's career, she oversaw the modernization of the tax map department leading the transition away from hand-drawn plat maps uh, to the county's computerized system. Whereas the commissioners hereby officially thank Dawn for the countless hours and hard work she has displayed over the last 32 years. She will be missed here at the county, and we wish her luck and good fortune in her future endeavors. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Seneca County Commissioners hereby officially recognize and celebrate Dawn Fitch and thank her for her 32 years of service to Seneca County. Witness whereof we, the Board of Seneca County Commissioners, have hereunto set our hand on this proclamation, 27th day of December, the year of our Lord, 2022. Mike Kirshner, Anthony Paradiso, Tyler Schuff. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That works. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so, what are you doing in retirement? Thank Thanks you for coming much. in. Thank um, you. haven't decided yet. I'm sure I'll have plenty to do. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's what a good feeling that is. Yes. Good. Well, God bless you. We wish you well. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have your family here right. with you. For my husband. Hi. Just me. Hi there. Welcome. Then we get to share some of the <laughs> yeah the we're all gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh, that's awesome. 
Okay, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, I think Judge Cubley was aiming for like 1045, so do you want to do the other thing? Yeah, I think we could. Probably do the other thing. Uh, so we have a little time till Judge Cubley comes over. We're going to recognize him, but uh, we have a special uh, program that we'd like to uh, uh, start now and recognize Commissioner oh, Kirshner. Oh, for crying out loud. For his <laughs> service. <laughs> what would you think was going to happen? <laughs> All set? Yep, I think it should be good. You, yep, I think that should work. Hey, Mike. I uh, just want to welcome you into this tribute video. Uh, a few people reached out to me, and I reached out to some folks. Obviously, not all-encompassing, but uh, to give them a chance to leave you with some words as you finalize and complete your eight-year term, uh, or two four-year terms in office as a county commissioner. Um, so, obviously, welcome. And then my personal message, just want to thank you uh, for being a mentor. I feel like I've been absolutely honored to, to have a chance to watch you work uh, and to hopefully be a, a help to you here from time to time uh, and, and assist you here uh, in this role. So, uh, you've always believed in me. Uh, you've, you've always believed in this county and this community. And, uh, you know, I think you're one of the most influential people here we have in Tennessee County. So, um, I want to thank you. Obviously, well wishes. Please don't be a stranger and keep in touch. And uh, yeah, I present you this video of, of some of the folks who've had a chance to work with you and, and people that, that you've had an impact on. So again, happy retirement. I wish you the absolute best to you, Joella, and all the family. And uh, thanks. It's been an honor. Mike, congratulations and thank you for your service to uh, Seneca County, to, to uh, your community. Um, we all appreciate it and um, keep the eye of the tiger, keep everyone laughing like I know you will. But my best to you and your family in, uh, in your retirement. Hey Mike, I want to thank you. Thank you for all your help over these years. You've done a wonderful job. Uh, your knowledge and your experience is going to truly be missed for the county. Um, you've been a great mentor to me. You've helped me grow as a person. I'm going to miss you. Uh, stay in touch. Don't be a stranger. My person, my friend, I want to say thank you. Thank you for a lot of things. The first time I thank you for your friendship. I've known you for 23 years. You've known me since I was a snot nose kid out of law school, worked with Old Fort Bank. Um, and you always took the time to take my call. I want to thank you for, Mike, for believing in me. All right, when I first got out of law school and Judge Shuff took the bench, you had a choice of whether to believe in me and stay with our firm with, with Old Fort Bank, and you did. You believed in me when I ran for judge. You were my treasurer, and you helped me get to where I'm at today. And you believed in our mission here at the court. So I want to thank you for believing in me, believing in your community. Mike, you're a community guy. Your guy is strange. It's like if you add Mike, it just gets better. All right? Old Fort Bank got better when you were there. The countless boards you've been on, you made them better. Or you made our county better. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for me. Thank you for all that you've done for our community. I wish you well. I'm sure you've got some great plans ahead of you, and I can't wait to hear the jokes that always come every time I see you. So, and God bless you. Thank you, my friend. Hey, Mike. Uh, just wanted to get on, get on here real quick and say thank you for your time and your service. Um, you will certainly be missed. And uh, I know that my son will always remember you for the damn man. So, thank you, enjoy your retirement. Mike, thank you for over 30 years of your conservative, common sense leadership for our community, and especially the past eight years as County Commissioner. You have been a great leader, and we will all miss you. You have set the bar very, very high with your work ethic and your ability to get things done. Again, thank you. And I hope you and Joella have a wonderful time in retirement. Hey Mike, I just want to thank you first and foremost for giving me the opportunity in Seneca County. It has been an absolute pleasure working with you. Uh, it was short, I wish we had longer, but I'm extremely excited uh, for you to move on and spend the quality time with your family and your friends that you deserve. Uh, make every second count. And again, thank you and congratulations. Hi Mike, Carolyn Bick, reaching out from Jim Darden's office. 
in Norwalk, Ohio, and just wanted to wish you all the best with your retirement and any future endeavors you may have. I'm sure that includes Florida and probably some fishing. Uh, four and a half years ago, you literally took me under your wing and helped me through so many uh, situations that I had never been part of, and I thank you for that. And um, a lot of it had to do with Seneca County and some of the characters, but again, you always had sound advice, and um, I sure do appreciate that. But you started with Marilyn Vick in your professional life and your ending with Carolyn Vick. How blessed can you be? Um, again, only, um, only wonderful things uh, for your retirement and we will miss you dearly. Take care. Hey Mike, Tyler Shelf here. I uh, just wanted to congratulate you. I wish you a happy retirement. Um, you put a lot of time and effort in here to the commissioner's office, the county, the city, and just everything that you do. Uh, greatly appreciate working with you. You're one of those people that I learn something new off of every day. You always have a good joke. But uh, it's just, we're, we're really going to miss you up here. And I know whatever you decide to do, you're going to do great at. And uh, taking a lot of things from you. And uh, I wish I had more time with you to work up here. But you work hard, buddy. You deserve it. And uh, I'll see you around. Don't, uh, don't be afraid to stop up here. We'll miss you. Kirsch, thank you serving as county commissioner. He stepped out of retirement and stepped up to elected office. I really appreciate that. Seneca County appreciates that. Um, you know, I had the pleasure of serving with you and uh, it was a true honor to serve with a friend and more importantly, a longtime mentor of mine. So I wish you all the best. Uh, I hope you get a lot of time with the grandkids, maybe get some sunshine. And I know you're going to stay involved in the community because you always have. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Michael J. Kirshner. I want to take this time to thank you for all of your service to Seneca County. I appreciate all of your efforts. You have made so many good moves for us. People won't even know what you've done because you've done it brilliantly behind the scenes. Thank you for your help on the courthouse. Thank you for your help on the bonding and understanding all the financial issues that we have in the county. So I just want to wish you much success. We will miss your leadership. We hope that you do well in retirement. Good luck. Thank you. You'll be a friend forever. Hi, Mike. It has always been such a pleasure to work with you and learn from you. Thank you so much for your service to this community, uh, everything that you've done, and for always keeping it interesting. So just wanted to say congratulations and good luck in this next phase. Uh, hope to still see you around. Don't be a stranger. Mike, congratulations on your retirement, and I want to wish you and Joelle all the best. Um, I just have a few comments as I was thinking about all your accomplishments and, and all your community service. But for me personally, uh, when I was considering running for commissioner, you came out and talked to me and, and you were very positive. You said that you really enjoyed it and that I would enjoy it. And you know, you haven't been wrong. It, this has been, been more than I expected. Um, there were many times you and I would talk about told me it takes you two hours to watch 60 minutes and it takes uh, you Mike 30 seconds to watch 60 minutes and you let me um, research things and take my time in making my decisions even though you knew how it was going to end you let the process play out and then eventually we evolved to Tony rip the band-aid off it and just deal with it so um, I guess that we've evolved through that process and currently uh, uh, as you come into my office you're, you start the conversation with if it were me or uh, you, know, you might want to consider this so I think we've come a long way together and I really appreciate your coaching your insight your CEO qualities uh, of making a decision uh, getting informed keeping the county at the forefront um, it, it's just been great. I've learned a lot working with you on the inside, having spent 40 years of life together on the outside, uh, you know, watching you and, and you watching me in our career. So uh, it's been great. And in summary, I would like to just say that uh, I'm going to miss you. You know, I'm going to miss your insight. We're going to miss your cell phone going off in the middle of the meetings. 
Uh, we're going to dismiss your jokes, your conversation, and uh, I, I want to wish you all the best and thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for everything you've done to support me personally and to make our community a better place. God bless you. Just thank you. It's you just that, hit that, uh, Dawn worked a whole lot harder over her 30 some years than I did here at eight years, so she deserves more of the kudos. And Judge Calvary, at however many years he has 34, I think Steve said. Yeah, so I think Steve Judge said that. Those guys are the real heroes. They were so thank you very much. It's the red button. Yeah, yep. Uh, we want to thank Jimmy Flint uh, for putting that together. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, there's a lot pleasure. of talents that go kind of under the radar. Yeah, as well. that, and I, I feel bad. Like I could have involved 20 more people, but it, it was you know in a time crunch, and that's who we got. So not all encompassing, but it, it was cool talking to people and just reflecting back on the last eight years. You touched a lot of people, Mike, and you know me included. So we appreciate you. We're gonna miss you. Well, a lot. I'm glad that you did this one, Jimmy, because when they did the roast, uh, <laughs> Angel yeah. Shook did that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> I know. This one was a little nicer. Huh? That's this. Thanks, guys. A little bit nicer this time. Thank so. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we we'll, look good on film, Mr. Klein. I got a face for radio. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 So I guess we'll open things up to public comment, and we'll start with the room here. Uh, and then Jimmy will, will, as custom area, will go to online. So Perfect. we'll go around the rooms. Anyone want to say anything? I'm looking at Mr. Klein in the back, you're up. I know you do. My father always told me, leave it better than you found it. You have truly done that. Thank you. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Jim. Any other comments from anybody? Julie, sure. Thank you, Mike, for your years of service with the county. Um, accomplished a lot of things. The Justice Center, the Joint Ambulance District, monumental things for the citizens of Seneca County that will be remembered. Um, <clears throat> Like we shared at the meeting last week, one of our meetings, um, I, it was such a pleasure to go to New York to represent Seneca County for our bond day. And that was an experience that I never would have dreamt without your leadership of taking us to do that. Yeah, so I, think we saved, I think we saved us a quarter or an eighth at least, right? By going there. That's a great yeah, trip. Thank you. Know, uh, 13, 15 million dollars, that's real money. Yeah, that's, yeah. That does belong in the same sentence. That's right. Yeah, that's exactly as you would say. Yeah. Mike, I just want to thank you for your uh, townships working with us. Many trips to Columbus with the yellow shirts and uh, quite a accomplishment uh, with that. So I look forward to uh, you know, thank you, stepping in and uh, you know, understanding there's huge. Uh, We're leaving it as a judge. So We're in public comment. We're leaving it as capable so hands. Speaking of shirts, I'll have a few of them for you. Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for yeah. my public comments that you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? I just want to say a comment about the windmills that we don't have in the county. It's because of you that we don't have them. Thank you. Maybe that was a big item. Huge. What you saved for the county. A lot of work. Anyone else? I, I just uh, wanted to be here for your last meeting just to say well done. Good and faithful servant. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Very kind. You can roast him if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that, but I was like, yeah, with all this positive stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah you're good. I'm not used to this. You know. <laughs> yeah. With the guys. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Anyone uh, online like to speak? Mr. Ditto one? Yep, I will. If you are joining us online and you'd like to speak, you can unmute now. I think I see. Yeah, good morning, commissioners. Yeah, Mike Ditto here. Commissioner Kirshner, thank you so much for your tireless service to Seneca County and for uh, giving High Bridge Consulting the opportunity to serve the county as well. We will miss you and we, we, we cannot thank you enough for your service. Uh, we, we, we've heard great things about Mike Kirshner ever, even before we started working for the county. So uh, we, we wish you all the best in retirement. That's from all of us, my colleagues, Ray Yankura and others. And uh, we, we look forward to, to keeping in touch with you in the years to come. Thanks, Mike. Cool. And if anyone else would like to come forward, you can unmute your line now and do that. Seeing none online. 
Okay, we have one more item of business before we adjourn the meeting. Welcome, Judge. And, My pleasure. Uh, and you will always be Judge, right? Even when you retire, that you keep that name and that title. As long as the money keeps coming, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> so you will, you will always be Judge Calpley. Well, yeah, I appreciate that. So, uh, thank you for coming. And uh, Judge Shelf was here at the beginning of the meeting and said some real kind words about you. And uh, uh, I would just like to thank you for your service. You had a great retirement party. I really enjoyed. Uh, thank God I did it in October. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and all your stories and all your memorabilia. And did well, you really use the Nurigo cup that you gave me? The so. Nurigo cup, yeah. yeah. That uh, the school gave you. Yeah. That. I, I just have one question. Did you really shoot that coon in the back of the car? Not me. Dick Eddington shot Dick Eddington Eddington in the back seat. <laughs> he was in the back seat. Tell that story. That's a that's a classic Nurigo story. Well. <laughs> Many years ago, every Thanksgiving, Dick Ennington, dear friend of my brother's and mine, and uh, my brother and I would go coon hunting Thanksgiving night, you know. And uh, we were headed out south of Nurigo on 587. My brother was driving, I was next in the passenger seat, and Dick was in the back seat. And behind him, it was a station wagon, were the coon dogs. So my brother sees a coon laying along the road. He slows up. I open my door. We didn't even stop it. Stop the vehicle. <laughs> I pick up the coon, throw it over my shoulder in the back seat. About 30 seconds later, two shots ring out. The coon was still alive, and Dick shot it in the back seat of the car. <laughs> that, is, uh, that is a classic story. Well, and it's true. <laughs> so, oh, well, thanks for sharing that. That's sure. awesome. <laughs> yeah, that could have gone south in a lot of different yeah. ways. We were headed towards Berwick, you know, so the center of the universe. But I think, uh, I'll turn it over to Commissioner Kirshner, but I think you would agree uh, that one of the best things he did was marry an Italian. What do you think? I think that's true. Would you agree with that? That's absolutely true. I would yeah. agree. Yeah. You know, so uh, with that, I'll yield to my fellow Well, we, we've had a lot of retirements, a lot of thanks here today, and, and Your Honor, uh, it's my pleasure to be able to read this proclamation, and I know that... Uh, we get bored with going through all this stuff, but I think this is important to read all the way through. And this is a title, thank you, Judge uh, Cowboy, for service to Seneca County. Whereas, the Seneca County Board of Commissioners is honored to recognize and commend Judge Michael P. Cowley for his outstanding contributions and dedications to the Seneca County community. Whereas, Judge Cowley was born May 22, 1951, has been married to Catherine Maletti, a Calvert High School graduate and former school counselor teacher for many years. Together they have two daughters, Allison and Elizabeth. Whereas Kelby has served as Common Pleas Court Judge for 34 years and has 12 years of experience in the practice of law, he has also officiated over 730 weddings, both in and out of the county, and considers it one of the best parts of his job. He also served as Director of Sunday County Public Defender's Office and as village solicitor for Attica, Bettsville, Bloomville, New Regal, and Republic. Member of the Seneca County Bar Association, the Ohio State Bar Association, and has served on the Supreme Court Magistrate Committee since 2011. Judge Kelby is also a mentor for judge for new common pleas judges and received specialized docket certification in 2018. Whereas, beyond his professional accomplishments, Judge Kelly has made significant contributions to his, to his community. He has served on the county uh, mental health board, where he served as vice president from 1995 to 1996, and treasurer from 98 to 04. Been involved in various organizations, including the Sons of the American Legion, the New Eagle Moose, the United Services of Alcoholism, and the Alcohol Intervention Program. Whereas the commissioners are honored to have the privilege to work with Judge Cowley as he has been a beacon for justice in this community using his role as judge to ensure fairness and uphold the law. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the Senate County Commissioners, hereby officially recognize and celebrate Judge Cowley for the invaluable contributions he has made to our community and wish him the best in his future endeavors. In witness hereof, we've signed it. Uh, Commissioners Mike Kirshner, Anthony Paradiso, and Tyler Schuff. And on a personal note, Judge Kelby has always been involved not only in the courts, but also in the county. He's made special efforts to be at these meetings, 
He was uh, especially involved when we did the construction with the Justice Center. Uh, I don't know that he ever missed a meeting, but uh, he that that quality that's there, that person wants to be involved and he wants to have his voice heard and wants to make certain that things are as they should be. So for that, I am grateful and I certainly wish you the best. Eight years is nothing, 34 years is a lot. So God bless you and uh, I'll give you, present you with the proclamation. You are welcome to say anything you would yeah, like. Yeah, he's good. You get I hope you about your job. Mike. Yeah, go ahead and hop in there and give yeah. it. Do you guys want to take sure. a picture? Come on, up. Go ahead, Great. Judge Kelly. Pop I on up. I sit here. on somebody's lap. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> Tony. He's Santa Claus. So. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's, let's get you guys back here if you want to move the chairs out for me. All right. Well, we want to. Where do you want me to stand? I'll put you guys right in the center. In the middle. Yeah, right here by the seat. Okay. You want me to right in the middle? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Tony, can you move these I chairs out? Sure. Sorry. Your wedding is like a big. This is a I got three weddings today. Really? I got a bride and groom, I think, that are circling the airport. We better hurry up. So. <laughs> All right, guys, ready? Three, two, one. I'll do one more. Three, two, one. Looks great. All right, All right floor is yours. Yeah. 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 Seems like just yesterday Gosh. when I started. They say that that I, I, I've never had an original thought, but I do a lot of reading. And one of the things I saw the other day is that in our lifetime there are two really important days the day that we're born and the day that we understand why and I think for those of us in county government and those of us in life there's a reason that we were put on this earth to do stuff I wasn't put on this earth to be a judge I was just put on the earth to help people I think and I, and I truly believe that it's been fun it's been hard. I can honestly say I've never enjoyed putting anybody in jail. So we've got a lot of good public servants here. I enjoyed coming to the county commissioners' meetings. I didn't get to come after we started the recovery court. So I could talk for 34 and a half years, but I'm not going to. I got a bride and a groom. Probably the bride's a little more nervous than the groom. So thank you very much. And it's nice to see some old friends. I've been telling people the job offer of picking up strays on the weekend is still open to me. Right? To pick up dogs. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's been a great. It's been a great run. Thanks, and you're only my bosses for another five days. <laughs> Thanks for the paychecks. <laughs> All right. Good. You got the court order budget with you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I to court order something, but we'll I'll get one of them for you later. Right. Yeah. Okay, so uh, any other comments before we adjourn? Just Here. Really quick to judge, Jimmy. that Mark Twain quote, I used that in a best man speech at a wedding once. Isn't so that true? Great though? quote. I love it. I, yes, I, yeah. You. I, like I said, I, I just saw it the other it's day. It's beautiful. Yep. The day we're born and the day we realize why. Yep. Pretty awesome. You know, awesome. And, and it's more than just being a judge, it's being a dad. And like you said, it's helping people, right? Yeah. It's good. All right. I love it. All right, judge. get back to work. All right. Go make us a okay, so hard. Thank you. Like, Short and sweet. Thank just got our next Sorry. meeting will be uh, January. Is it fifth? <coughs> That's yeah. January fifth. Be Thursday. It'll be our first meeting, Bill. Organizational meeting. And uh, any other comments? Before we go. Okay. Hearing none. Meeting adjourned.